Today, I'm gonna to show you how to grow your own citrus and how to choose the best plants for your place. For all varieties, the products you'll need are some garden mix, sheet pellets, citrus fertilizer, seaweed tonic, mulch, a wooden stake and ties, and of course, your citrus tree. The first thing you wanna get sorted is what type of citrus that you're after. So whether that be lemons, limes, or oranges, they're all available two ways. Dwarf trees are smaller, approximately 1.5 to 2 meters. Space these two meters apart or they thrive in pots. Though smaller, dwarf trees still produce a lot of fruit. Or choose a tall tree for a full size citrus of approximately three meters that need three meter spacing. Spend a bit more if you can to get a graft of variety of either. They're hardier and should give you more fruit. Dwarf, tall or whether they're grafted will be on the plant label in store. Today, I'm gonna to be planting a tall male lemon, showing you how to do some really good soil prep to help get the most out of your tree. First of all, mark out a bit of a circle in the grass. It's gonna be about twice the width of our pot. Just gonna get this top layer of grass off. We can clear our space to put our tree in. And as you can see, we've got a nice sort of exposed ring of soil around the side. It's quite important when you're planting into grass like this because it's just going to give us a bit of an area for maintenance around the sides when you're mowing the lawn. Now we just need to get it down deep enough. Basically the depth of that pot, a little bit deeper so we can get some nice organic material in there. I can see we've come across a little bit of clay so we can add a little bit of gypsum to help break down that clay over time. And work that in a little bit to the soil. We're going to get some garden mix in. Put a decent layer in the bottom. Check the height that we're at with our tree. Nice and flush with the top of our ground level. Get the seaweed tonic, give it a bit of a soak, and that's gonna help prevent against any transplant shock. We really do want that to soak in nicely, so make sure you keep the tree in its bag. Cut the bag, careful not to damage any of the roots. As you can see, this one's quite loose, but if it is root bound, just give it a little bit of a squeeze and loosen up some of the roots around the edge. You can stake it later, but it's good practice to put this in at this stage. That avoids us damaging those roots later down the track. Layer up some sheet pellets. And these sheet pellets are just a good natural fertilizer to add to the soil and help boost the nutrients. And then keep topping up with garden mix and backfill with existing soil if you need to. Drive this new stake a little further down to help secure it. Choose a good strong part of the tree, roughly three quarters of the way up. Secure it to the stake, not too tightly. You do want to leave the tree some room to grow. Right, give it a little bit of citrus food. Sprinkle this around the drip line. And give that a good watering in. This watering also helps release some of that citrus food. Now our last step, mulch and feed. It's a good idea to do this after any planting. It's gonna help keep the weeds away from the bottom of the tree and help retain some of the moisture in the soil. Now it is important to not build any mulch up around the trunk of your tree as that can invite disease. I've just planted the one male lemon today as an example, but to help you get a better crop, you're gonna to need to cross pollinate. One tree will give you some fruit, but plant a couple and you'll get a much bigger crop because the trees pollinate each other Mix up as many types or varieties as you like. It doesn't just have to be all one fruit. To recap, choose whether a dwarf or tall tree will suit your situation, and then choose what type of citrus you're after. There are lots of varieties within each to match your tastes. Autumn or spring's the best time to plant, but you can plant any time. As a rule, they don't like temperatures colder than minus two degrees Celsius, but hardier varieties do cope. If you're worried, move pots under cover or use a frost cloth in colder months. Water trees for about five minutes every two weeks, but up that to almost daily for your pots. Citrus are gross feeders, so you need to feed them monthly with a citrus food for healthy trees that produce a lot of fruit. Yellowing leaves are a sign they may need a top up feed. But good news, keep your citrus well fed and they're pretty pest free. Unhealthy trees may attract varicosis or lemon scab, aphids, scale, mites, mealy bug or sooty mold, but all are easily treated. Citrus fruit at different times and some all year round, so just check the tag before selecting and use sharp secateurs to harvest.
You only really need to prune your trees to shape them, but avoid pruning in spring so lemon tree borer don't lay eggs in the fresh cuts. If you have any rootstock growth, just trim it away carefully so you don't damage the tree. Look after your citrus and they'll last you for years. Whatever fruit you choose, they're all easy as.